Whoa. <laughs> so that's like a lot more than I know the answer to. I just want to give you some information before you sign a lease, and so I made this um, somewhat of a way to remember what I want you to consider before you sign a lease. One, make sure that you read your lease before signing it. Two, get to know your future roommates before you sign a lease with them. Three, consider the options if you will not be living at the property, or you, if you'll be living at the property for less than the full term. Be sure to make sure that all the agreements you have with your landlord are in writing. List all the conditions of your rental property when you move in. Understand your security deposit rights and responsibilities and enjoy your new lease and be a responsible tenant. And go blue. Um, first, make sure you read your lease before signing it. If you remember nothing else from my few minutes, please remember this because once you sign a lease, it's a binding contract. As soon, generally speaking, as soon as you sign the lease, you're bound to it. So you want to make sure that you read the lease fully before you sign it. Make sure that you understand all the terms that you're agreeing to and you fully um, incorporated everything into the lease that you want to incorporate into the lease. Um, get to know your future roommates before you sign a lease agreement with them. We have a lot of situations where students come to see us and they have signed a lease a year before their lease is about to start and they no longer get along with their roommates. Since your lease is binding, as soon as you sign the contract, you want to make sure that the people that you're living with, you're going to get along with and you can live with. So um, consider your personality, consider the things that are important to you in, um, in housing and how you can be, whether or not you're compatible with somebody. The Beyond the Diag program has roommate agreement forms that you can use to um, get together with your roommates and sort out who's responsible for what in terms of the rent, in terms of the living situation and things like that. Consider your options if you will not be living at the property for the full term. If you end up having to leave your lease early or end up or know that you're not going to stay there for the full term of the lease, you need to know what your options are. Um, generally speaking, you have the option of subleasing your apartment, which keeps you on the lease that you're still the prime tenant and you sublease to um, to another person, but you're still on this lease as primarily primarily responsible to the landlord. Another option is to assign your lease, where the lease is transferred to a new person and you have no further obligations to the lease. If neither of those, um, if a sublease or assignment isn't available, you can always negotiate with your landlord and try to come up with terms that are acceptable to end your lease early. B for blue, be sure to put all your agreements with your landlord in writing. Since the um, lease agreement is binding, it represents your, your total agreement with the landlord. So if your landlord has promised to renovate the kitchen or paint the apartment or put a dishwasher in there before you move in and those things are important to you, then make sure they're written into the lease agreement before you sign the lease agreement. When you do move in, List the conditions of your rental. List the conditions of your pro rental property at move-in. You will be given or should be given from the landlord a move-in checklist. You're asked to go around the apartment and complete it in detail so that you can document the condition of the property at move-in. The landlord's going to use that at the end of the lease to determine what you or your housemates may have damaged. So the more information you have at the start, the better off you'll be in terms of getting your security deposit back. Um, you should take pictures of the conditions in your apartment. You should document with great detail the conditions in the apartment um, and take video if you'd like so that you can use that later. Um, which leads me to understanding your security deposit rights and responsibilities. Your security deposit can be at the most one and a half times your monthly rent. The security deposit can be used by the landlord at the end of your lease to for any unpaid rent or unpaid utility bills but also for any damage that's not just normal wear and tear that you've caused so it's important that you understand that that money is yours until the landlord is entitled to apply it to any damage and finally enjoy your new home and be a responsible tenant be a good tenant be, be a courteous neighbor be considerate to your roommates and be a good tenant as well